Season 43 of Doctor Who would air in 2006. It would be the first season for Freema Agamon as Martha Jones and the third season for David Tennant as the 11th Doctor. This season would have a, a Captain Jack returning after season 42. So let's get into the episode, shall we? The first episode would be Smith and Jones, written by Russell D. Davis. When Martha Jones finds herself on the moon, she meets a mysterious stranger called the Doctor and her life will never be the same again. Again, this story is like the same as it in our own timeline. The next episode is The Shakespeare Code, written by Gareth Roberts. The Doctor takes Martha to Elizabethan England, where William Shakespeare is under the control of deadly witch-like creatures. The next episode is New Earth, written by Russell T. Davis. The Doctor and Martha travel way beyond the near future, and they go to New Earth, and they discover a terrible truth of how they cure everyone in the hospital. This story is basically the aftermath of the end of the world, and the face of Bo would return for a second time after he did return in End of the World. The next episode would be Gridlock, written by Russell T. Davis. The Doctor takes Martha to New Earth in the far future, only to find an entire city has become a deadly trap. This is the third and final part in the New Earth trilogy, after End of the World, then New Earth, then Gridlock. This um, episode will also see the surprise return of the Macra. The next episode is Daleks in Manhattan, written by Helen Rayner. 1930s New York, and on top of the Empire State Building, the Doctor of Old Enemies are at work. Evolution of the Daleks, part two by Helen Rayner. As a new Dalek empire rises in the 1930s, New York, the Doctor must enter an unholy alliance. The next episode is The Lazarus Experiment, written by Stephen Greenhorn. Martha returns home, but has to save her family from the schemes of the monstrous Professor Lazarus. The next episode is 42, by Chris Chibnall. As a spaceship hurtles towards the sun, the Doctor and Martha have only 42 minutes to save the day. The next episode would be Journey to the Utopian Paradise, written by Russell T. Davis. Jack's back. As Captain Jack comes storming into the Doctor's life again, the TARDIS is thrown to the end of the universe itself. This episode would see a character known as Professor Johnson, um, played by Joffa Ackland, try and work on a rocket which will take everyone to a utopian paradise which um, has more life than the universe. However, he opens a fob watch and then golden energy shoots back into him and then he locks the Doctor into a room and he says to the Doctor, I am the master and you will obey me. Then he is shot by Chantho, just like in the Utopia episode in our own timeline, and he locks himself into the Doctor's TARDIS as the Doctor just gets the door open again and regenerates into the form of Lean Cunningham. The next episode is The um, Sound of Drums, written by Ruffle T. Davis. Harold Saxon becomes Prime Minister and his reign of terror begins, but his dark ambitions reach beyond the stars. And the finale of the season is The Last of the Time Lords, written by Ruffle T. Davis. Earth has been conquered and the master rules supreme, with the Doctor his prisoner. Only Martha Jones can save the world. This is the same as it is in our own timeline, and at the end of the episode, what you see in the actual episode does happen, leading us right in to the Christmas special. The Christmas special of 2006 would be The Voyage of the Damned, written by Ruffle T. Davis. A spaceship set on an apocalyptic collision course with Earth, a host of killer robot angels and an evil severed head mastermind. It's just another Christmas for the Doctor. This story would, st would star Australian singer Kylie Minogue and it would have a reoccurring Doctor Who actor, Jeffrey Palmer, who uh, may you might know playing people in Doctor Who and the Silurians from 1970. 